If God gives me permission tomorrow, we'll go there. Then you will realize that we need mass repentance as the church. We are going to pray. If someone gives his life to Christ and just gets born again, maybe by an evangelistic effort, where can we take that soul that the soul will not be twice a son of hell. No, you are not with me. You are not with me. You are, yeah. When you see maybe a congregation making an effort for people to get saved, do you pity the people? It, it, are they really, is it a positive thing for them to be saved and join that congregation? Yeah. You are not following. Because Jesus was the one that said himself that the Pharisees will labor to ensure that there is there is a convert to Judaism there's a proselyte and when the person converts they make that person twice a child of hell I've seen I've seen people I've seen people that followed men of God followed men of God men of God did virgin them men of God initiated them men of God are you following what I'm talking about that person has been made it's difficult when you come and say salvation, give your life to Christ. They, they look at you as an agent of, of darkness. You are a suspect. You are a suspect. So we need to ask what is church? That person that is giving his life to Christ and saying he wants to embrace church, are you? Are we, should we rejoice for him or mourn? No, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. If you think about it very well, you might discover that we have been hijacked. And that's why in the book of Revelation, because in the book of Matthew chapter 11, when Jesus showed up, he spoke about John the Baptist, that John the Baptist was Elijah that was to come. Then he added this statement, he that has ears, let him hear. And by ears, he was referring to physical ears. But the same Jesus, when he comes to the book of Revelation and he begins to visit the church, he was no longer looking for the whole congregation because in most cases, the congregation was the congregation synagogue of Satan. So he was crying out and saying, He that has an ear. Are you following? He was now reaching out for that individual that is still standing erect, that has kept his lamp burning. Because it is it's widespread. It's a widespread phenomenon for people to be out of sync with Christ. One of the churches, in one of the churches, Jesus was actually knocking to find entrance into the church because they cast him out a long time. They cast him out a long time. They, they said, we know how to run this show. Hey! Cast him out. And he's knocking. He said, behold, I stand at the door and knock if any man hears my voice and opens the door I will come in and eat with him and him with me hear me Ghana Jesus says he's coming for an inspection in the church in Ghana hear me and hear me well oh ye sons of Africa Jesus is coming for an inspection in your territory. It, this is the time for you to make adjustment because the casualties of this visitation will be many. Before the conference ends, I will show you that there's a difference between the multitude and the elect. The crowd and the call. The game must stop. Followers of Jesus need to arise again. The game called church in Africa must stop. <laughs>